Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mark with Limo Marketer back again with another video. So why should you be doing SEO at some point? Um, the, other, uh, the other day I was talking with one of my clients out of Baltimore. And so he's been doing SEO with us now for a little bit over a year. And when he first started, um, he wasn't really sure if it was going to make sense. Now, just to give a little breakdown, he was spending, I believe at the time, about three grand a month on Google ads, getting probably about 200 or so leads a month. And um, so at the time he was like, man, Google ads really isn't cheap. And it isn't, you know, so two, 200 leads, um, 3000, that's about, you know, about $15 per lead. Right. Um, and so he said, you know, look, you know, long term, um, I, you know, how do I become more profitable? And I said, well, really long term, SEO is how you become more profitable. Now, so for most of you guys watching this video, I wouldn't recommend doing SEO if you're new. If you're doing less than 25, 30,000 a month in revenue, SEO isn't the way to go because it is expensive. And so, but with this operator, he was doing more than that. And granted, he was still driving some, which was kind of surprising. He's doing it a lot less these days because he has so many leads coming in uh, because he did start doing SEO with us a little over a year ago, I believe. And, um, in the beginning, so, you know, I'll just tell you guys, uh, we were charging about 1500 a month, you know? And so I told him, look, in the beginning, the number of leads you're going to get per month for that 1500 is like barely any, right? Because his website wasn't really ranking that well. It did have some rankings, which helps. If you're starting with a brand new website, it takes a lot longer. But look, the goal really is, is to get him more leads with SEO for that 1500 a month than he would have gotten um, from pay-per-click. So, and because keep in mind, pay-per-click costs just go up each year, right? Um, it used to be, he could have gotten, so he was paying 15 per lead and he was getting 200 leads a month. Uh, let's see, 200 per month. Um, it used to be, he could probably spend a thousand to get that many leads, but you know, costs have just gone up and up. And so, the moment it really becomes worth it for him is the moment that he is getting, let's say, 100 leads a month, right, with SEO, because at that point, he's getting just as many leads, um, you know, his cost per lead's about the same with pay-per-click and SEO. And the beauty is, if you do stop doing SEO, which you shouldn't, but if you do, um, the leads continue. It's not like with Google Ads, when you turn it off, the leads stop. And so... Um, I told him, look, once you're getting uh, about a hundred leads a month, then it's, you know, it's at, you know, the same cost as, uh, what a pay-per-click would be. And that's a win. And so it started out, you know, in month one, two, three, four, um, you know, let's just say he, he was getting more than zero, but it was very low the first two or three months, but then third month, 10, fourth month, 20, and then it went on and on. And finally, um, I just checked it the other day and then the last 30 days, um, form leads alone, he got about 150 and, um, and for every form lead you typically get about, uh, or for every three form leads, you typically get a phone call. So let's say he's getting about 200 leads now a month. Um, and you notice he's already beating his ROI, um, with, uh, with SEO, um, compared to pay-per-click because the number of leads now he's getting a month from his SEO. So he's getting pretty much leads at $7 and 50 cents each now. And so, um, probably, and I'm not sure when this was probably in month nine or 10, it was worth it. Look for most, most websites, it takes longer than this. Okay. This guy already did have some rankings. He had a website he had had for probably, um, eight or so years. Um, he had tried SEO a few years ago, but he stopped. Um, but they did do some SEO work, some backlinking. Um, so he was not starting from scratch because typically it doesn't go this well. Um, typically it might take to months 24, month 30, month 36 until he's beating his pay-per-click cost. But you have to think what a great return on investment this is because he's still paying that same cost per month, but he's getting more and more leads each month now. So his lead cost is actually getting less and less each month while his lead cost with pay-per-click is just going to go up each month. And look, at some point, maybe when he's happy with his lead volume, maybe he starts slowly tapering his pay-per-click budget. It really just depends on his company's economics. 
but what I want you guys to take from the video is, is a uh, search engine optimization worth it? Yes, it totally is. You just need to make sure you're, you're, you're pulling in enough money each month um, to where that money you're spending on it um, won't make or break your business. Because you never want, uh, especially when you're starting out, guys, you do not want to start investing first in SEO. Um, I almost recommend never doing this unless you've got um, you know, a significant investment. And even then, I, I typically do not recommend doing it. Another thing I will warn you guys against is super low cost providers. Can you get someone who will do a good job at 800, 1000 a month? Yes, probably can. But if they're charging you 100 or $200 a month, um, you probably want to run the opposite way because they're probably not going to do anything. Part of the problem with SEO, what makes it such a difficult service to hire for is you don't really see the results for four to six months. You should start seeing some results in three to four months, but um, typically all you will get from the SEO agency up until that point is, well, changes to your website. And what you should also be getting is some sort of backlinking report. And here's the thing, someone can send you this report. Most people do not really understand how this all works. And so they're kind of just relying on this agency um, that they are in fact, know what they're doing. And so that's another thing I would recommend is before you hire this agency, whoever's going to be doing the work, make sure you haven't just spoken with them. Number one, I would speak, talk to a few different SEO agencies. Um, and then if possible, I, I would actually not recommend doing it unless you could get this. Get the names of a few contacts um, that they are currently working with that, that you can check uh, references. And if they won't provide these, then I, I likely wouldn't work with them. Um, you should always um, be able to, uh, you know, give references out if you're an SEO agency. Um, and particularly what you really want is try to find um, references that are in a similar industry, or if they're not in a similar industry, find another industry, but a competitive one, one that you think would not be easy to rank in. You know, if you're ranking for something that's a very, very niche product, it's going to be a lot easier to rank for. So something that has a little bit more competition. And so these are just some tips, guys. Um, like I said, if you're doing less than 20, 25,000 a month in revenue, I wouldn't suggest um, jumping into SEO, but long-term, you eventually want to be getting leads for less money than, than what Google Ads charges. Because as I mentioned, Google Ads will just get more and more expensive each year. And if you want more profit, what you need to do is you need to bring down what it costs you to acquire a client, your client acquisition costs, because that's really gonna determine what your profit is at the end of the day is, you know, being really efficient operationally, of course, but also bringing down uh, that client acquisition cost. And so anyways, guys, uh, don't want to make this video too long. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next week.